So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the setup of our current curriculum cart. Current curriculum cart. Say that three times fast. Hey, I'm Sabrina. Welcome to my channel, The Simple Happy Life, where I share about our homeschool, organization tips, and what we're up to. So I like to start the school day with a clear table and my stuff ready to go to teach the boys. This is my homeschool planner and I'll share that with you guys soon. But this cart holds the curriculum that I work with the boys on one-on-one -on -one or as family studies. So things like math, we use Write Start. I do that with them. Um, writing, our grammar, our spelling and vocabulary. So these are all things that I lead the boys in. I recently share their independent work boxes um, and that's work that they do independently. So I'm loving this setup. It's right here beside me in my chair. I can just spin and grab instead of grabbing things off of the shelves because I did have our curriculum over here on our shelves, but it wasn't getting put back. <laughs> And this is much easier when it's just right here. I take it out, we do our work, I put it back. So I'm gonna take this uh, cart apart and show you the supplies I've used to organize it and then put it back for you and show you why I put things where. Okay, so I could talk organization all day, but I'm gonna keep this brief. Uh, when I started organizing my curriculum cart, I thought about all the things that I would use in a week, like the teacher manuals and workbooks that I do with the guys one-on-one -on -one or as family studies, um, the math manipulatives that I would need to go along with our Right Start Math. So I have all of our manipulatives organized on the shelf over there, one of those cubes, and I just pull out what I need for the week and all of them are pretty much organized in these little um, makeup bags I got off Amazon. I have a video of how I organized them when I first got it. I'll link that if you wanna see it, but I just needed to know, get an idea of like, how many manipulatives um, I would need for the week. And then our spelling cards to go with our All About Spelling, our tablet we use with All About Spelling. Um, I know that we had Spanish and money and things um, that I wanted to go on the cart, um, but like our Spanish has flashcards with it. So I didn't wanna just drop all that on the cart and I didn't wanna have a bunch of little containers. So I pulled out these folders. Um, I've used these to organize my Good and the Beautiful science units. I have a video on that I'll put a card up for. I've used them to organize our Evan Moore units, um, our uh, a nature study that we were doing. So I really like these Smead folders. They're nice and durable. Um, and then I just have a little label on it from um, Michaels. And I like how thick these are because I can um, use this label maker right here that I've shared before um, and I can change out these labels really easily just the the black label on top so I put these folders on the cart that I already had I haven't had a planner cart um, and I can link that video if you guys are interested um, but I kind of tested it on that now from Instagram you've seen these curriculum carts these awesome mamas have and you know that file um, folder magazine holders will fit on top so I was already using that so that wasn't like I said um, uh, too big of a transition because I was already using that so I knew that those would fit on top um, and I laid this in my cart and it fits so I was like okay but it was bigger than or all of the things added up to be um, take up more space than that smaller cart so I got a big cart from um, Michaels and I'm really happy with it the system has worked really well just putting everything if I'm sitting here at our couch or I'm at the table or I'm at my desk, it's just much easier to pop things back on the cart than it is to get it and put it back on the shelf. It shouldn't be, it really shouldn't be, but for some reason it is. So I started with things that I already had and I didn't have to purchase, um, well, I'll, I'll take that back. I did purchase these labels, which I'll talk about in a second, but I already had things to organize uh, my cart with. Um, you could just, set things on the cart and organize it that way too. Um, but I can be a little extra. So I knew I wanted to compartmentalize some things in containers. Um, so if you don't already have things that work, if you're picking up your cart from like um, Michael's, usually they already have one assembled. And so you can go and see if there's any baskets or boxes like this one, this one's from Michael's. Um, and you can set them on the cart and see what fits. You can also measure um, and order things online, but that is what I did 
um, while I was at Michael's, but I didn't end up purchasing anything because I wanted to start with what I already had and that ended up working. Um, so I uh, just kind of played with the arrangement a little bit of how I wanted it, what was easiest um, to get off, for instance, these um, file folders can lay down easily, but they can also set up, like they can't go straight across, they're too, they're too wide for that. Um, but you can have them at an angle like I have them and then you just fold them out like this. And so I knew I couldn't fit, fit the magazine files here, so they all had to go on top. And this would probably be a little annoying to get out from the bottom, so that's how I decided that they live in the middle. So. Um, you just play with the arrangement and then um, the other thing that I did with my labels is on my shelf I had um, labels here from these um, IKEA on these IKEA magazine files um, but when I put them on the cart I couldn't see my labels anymore right so I put a label up here like a clipped one up here that I already had but I kept it kept popping off with my books and it's kind of annoying to have to keep pulling up the book to see like which uh um you know file magazine my stuff was in so i did want a label and my husband comes in and he helps too so i wanted to make it easy for him so i found these magnetic labels um from amazon sorry it's a little blurry and they have this like little clear piece that goes over the um, white paper that's on the magnet. So you could write on the white piece of paper. Um, but I thought, you know, I like to switch things up and I thought it would be easier if I just use my handy dandy label maker, this one, um, with the clear tape with the black um, letters and put it on the clear piece and just I can peel that off when I'm ready to switch that up. And so... I just stuck it under here and they don't move. They don't, they don't move. So um, I like that. And so I just decided, hey, that's how I'm going to see if I can't get that. I'm going to um, label them. And that made it really, really easy. So I'm going to assemble the cart and, um, and uh, show you what it looks like again in the end. So I'm just finishing up adding these things onto the cart and I really like this cart, these carts, these curriculum carts. I think they could be used whether you have a small space or a large space um, or however you choose to organize your curriculum. Like I said, I am organizing it by the week, the things that I would use in a week. Um, and there's just so much room I probably could um, add even more on here, but I like to keep um, things uh, simple and easy to access. So um, there's like a little gap back here. So I put this geography book we're using that won't fit in the file behind it. If you have a planner, you could probably fit your planner back there, um, depending on how thick it is. I've got our tablet over here in the back. There's some space because I chose to have these um, sitting up. I could put something there and I've got our um, whiteboard that we use for spelling and math back there so lots of room um, you can fit um, a big stack of books here too this is what we're using this week as we finish up our um, like plant and bee. we've been talking about George Washington Carver um, so we'll finish that up this week um, and I just really like the flow of our car. I feel like things are easy to get off and put back on. Um, and when I can, I like to have things organized, uh, like with the like. So I have our spelling and vocabulary here, our manuals, and I just have our spelling cards in this box. And of course it's labeled, um, for, um, for me, but also for my husband so he can just easily jump in and know where things are and where to put things back. This is our timer. I like to have this going on the table. It keeps us focused. Um, and then I have our latest letters from afar. Um, and I just, these clips are from the Dollar Tree. So that just holds that letter. And then I like to have some sticky notes to mark where we are in the curriculum that we're using 
uh, make notes and things like that. So that's uh, stuck up here with another Dollar Tree magnet. Now, a lot of people use these carts for crafting. So you can buy accessories that they already have made. You can make your own magnetic like cups to put pens and um, other manipulatives and things. And you could tie things on the side. There are just so many uses for these carts and I am loving this. It is definitely keeping me more organized in our space. So if you've enjoyed this video guys, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll be back with more videos soon. Talk to you later. Bye.